and welcome back. Today I'm looking at an application called MindMeister. Now I'm using a free demo here just to give an overlay and a few of it and see what you think. Again it's official mapping, planning, organisation and working with linear. Also you can export to Word and various applications. So without further ado let's get stuck right in. As you see at the beginning you can see loads of options there including templates. Now at the top here these are great actually you can go straight into a mind map all chart, lists, project retrospective, project plan, smart goals and so on. Now I'm not going into all of these but there's some good maps there just to get you up and running. Now on here click plus if you want to start a new map. So I'm going to start a new map. By the way you can import as well and create folders to organise your maps. So select new my map. We are now good to go. Now quick look at the interface before we get stuck in. On the right you've got options like formatting, you can add emojis and information. Bottom left here as well, you can go into presentation mode, you can zoom in and out as well if you wish. There. So I'm going to make a start, so I'm going to tap into here, let's pop something in there, what should we start with? Let's put space to final frontier. So I've got my first idea. Now I'm going to tap into my next idea, and if I tap again, I can now delete that and type in my next option. And again, Click into your next option, tap into the text so you can delete it. Right, there we go. I've made a start to my mind map. Now, if I come here, three little dots here, if I tap on that, it gives you multiple options. And I've got a demo version, so I'm kind of limited. But I can use connections here, I can paste any link into here as well. So, what I'm going to do quickly, is that Microsoft Edge, I'm just going to type in, what should I put in actually? Now, I'm going to put in Stars in space to be basic, I know, but I want to grab any link as a demonstration. That would do nicely. Can't go wrong with NASA. Copy link at the top. Control C or right click and copy. And I'm going to paste the link here. Control V. Click the little arrow and I've now added it with a tick. So now I've got a hyperlink, you see it here. So I can jump to that link anytime I want. What I mean here actually, you might even want to add a comment. So I'll pop a comment in there. NASA. Maybe you want a bit of an emoji in there, so I'll just put a smiley face. Now click the arrow again. And you can see straight away where I've got my paper clip, which is my attachment to NASA website. Tap on that, I've even got a little comment there to work with. Close that. Also, three little dots. You've got an option where you can add your own notes. So if I tap notes, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead of typing out notes, I'm going to copy some text from here actually, why not? not plagiarism because I'm not actually using it so there you go control C and I'm going to paste that into my note here control V and it's done again it says here shift plus enter for new lines if you wish new lines as well so if I tap off that and again can you see if I've built up information from the attachment to the comment and to a little note that I can open up and carry on working on remember when you tap on an option here come up three little dots you can carry on then you can add media for example but I can't use that obviously as you can see you can import different media if you wish also attachments so you want an attachment from your computer as well I could click at the bottom we have the website link could have actually attach something from my computer with upload as well if I needed it's great for revision actually or just general research three little dots again and this is a new option task now you can turn your mind map into a task. So I'm going to select here agree terms and conditions and select connect and then close. So now if you look here at stars, I've got due date assigned to. So I can add a due date that maybe I need to do my research on that. Let's come into April, shall we? Let's go to April the 5th. 12 o'clock will do nicely and I can tap off that. And then I can assign it to so if you're collaborating with different people, you can assign that. So I'll come down here and invite others to collaborate, put their email address in, they can collaborate and connect your notes underneath. Again, really handy option, especially if you work in a business, for example. Close that. So there you go. I'm building up information. So that's the first option with the three little dots. Next option here. Now if I click on here, I've got the option there that you can access as well. But if I come down, we've got formatting options. So one we might go actually, I prefer that colour, a bit solid in there. You can come down here with boundaries if you want as well, look. Change the boundaries. That don't look too bad, does it? 
and you can show as boundary so it goes right round. So if you've got an idea, you can have a complete boundary around it. Uh, you've got some different style fonts there to work with. You can also bold, italicize as well if you wish. And you can change your font size as well there. So I'll close that. I'm going to come down again. You've got your option here, icons. So you might have a little icon there just to tell you, for example, maybe it's some form of uh, bar chart. Just to tell yourself, pop it in there. And you come down here, you've got loads of little icons you can work with from health and so on. You've got your emojis as well. So if you fancy emoji in there, pop your little emoji in there instead. Close that. Come down to the next option, layout. Now, I think, again, I'm kind of limited on that because I've only got the free beta for, I've only got the free version but you can auto align it doesn't matter too much watch because you can grab on one drag it where you want as well so you've got that option to work with last of all at the bottom you've got your little option here so you can have different themes so if you do it manually you, you might say actually I need more of a uh, colour burst or prism and it just opens it up for you don't really have down there actually I like the darker one there look yeah, that's pretty cool. That really stands out. And at the top, you've got your different themes there as well. But I'm going to leave it on midnight. I kind of like that. So there you go. You boot up your ideas. Now, if you click on the middle, you've got the option here as well. Can you see? You can also drag that as big as you want. And again, you can click on three little dots and carry on building there. Now, if I click on here, now if I come to the top and select plus, I can add a sub branch off of there, as you can see there. I know it's part of planning, but I thought I'd pop that down. And again, if I click on Moon, I've got the plus button here, I can create a sub branch off of there, and so on. So you can really expand on your ideas and organise them. People underestimate the power of using visual mapping. Bottom left, so we've got my map here, we can have outline view. So if you've added notes and information, you've got all that in linear format to work with. So that way you can jump back and forth as you build your ideas and plan them. Also, not try this yet, let's have a go, presentation mode. Yeah, that kind of works. I'm going for moon here. Don't click on planets and you can kind of go in present. See, it zooms in. Presentation mode. And then you can click on the links and access them as well. That's kind of a cool option, especially if you're doing revision or something, you're trying to show something to someone or even collaborate as well. Press escape, top left, to come out of it. Now, I said I'm kind of limited on this, so if I come up here, got a chance to export your print so I'm going to go export and all the only option I've got is document outline but you're more likely to use maybe Microsoft Word, PowerPoint or even an image file so I want to do document here and select export I'm going to export it to my computer and you've got Google Drive that's your choice you can export it there it's going to be in re rich text format but it should be okay and there we go, it's up in Word anyway. Click Enable Editing. And there we go, you've got all your information that will be organised. Any images I've added will also be there that you can access as well. Close that. Top right, you've got the Undo option as well. And you've also got this option here, Share. As I said earlier, you can share this with anyone you want to collaborate or just show them as well. Click Cancel. Come out of the top left, click the little arrow and it takes you straight back and if you look here you'll see it automatically saves it for you so you don't have to click the save button anything you don't want click the three little dots you can either duplicate it move it to trash or even move it to a different folder including sharing and even publish it online or again you've got the export option if you wish to export it including to portable document format obviously as you know I haven't got that option so there you go there's a quick look at mind meister thanks for watching